Hey everyone, welcome back to Kunju's Media. Hope you all are doing good and are staying safe. Welcome to Kunju's Media. And yeah, today I'm here with you know a topic on stroke. We'll be talking about the causes of stroke, the signs and symptoms of a stroke and what are the preventive measures you can adopt in order to you know reduce the risk of stroke or you know completely prevent uh, stroke so what is basically a stroke a stroke is caused when there is you know reduced blood supply to your brain which you know reduces the oxygen supply and thereby causing your brain tissue to damage and yeah sometimes it may cause brain death as well if not treated immediately so the treatment in case of a stroke is very crucial and proper treatment can prevent brain death and other such complications and during a stroke it's necessary to understand what are the signs and symptoms of a stroke some medications prove very effective when at you know when given soon after a stroke occurs so it's even if you have a stroke or any anybody beside you have a stroke you you should be able to identify that it's a stroke so let's see what are the signs and symptoms of a stroke the first sign is a trouble in speaking and understanding what others are saying you may experience yourself in confusion and you may slur your words or have difficulty in understanding others speech or something like that so this is the first common sign of a stroke and the second sign is paralysis or numbness of your face maybe arm or leg see you may develop sudden numbness and weakness or maybe paralysis in your face arm or leg so this often affects only just one side of your body right so at this time if you try to raise both your arms over your head at the same time if one arm begins to fall so this indicates that you may be having a stroke so also when uh, one side of your mouth may droop when you try to smile so this is the second most uh, common sign of a stroke third that's problem in vision maybe it affects both one or uh, both of both of your eyes you may suddenly have some blurred or blackened vision in both of your eyes or may one eye and you may sometimes see it as double next is headache a sudden severe headache which may be accompanied by vomiting dizziness or altered consciousness this may also indicate that you have a stroke since uh, ischemic attack or most commonly called as mini stroke it's a temporary period in which uh, you will experience a kind of symptoms that you would have experienced in kind of, in case of a stroke so the transient ischemic attack won't cause any permanent damage but you know it's caused due to you know decreased uh, blood supply to your it's just a temporary decrease in your blood supply that's it to any part of your nervous system and uh, it's not completely you know safe to neglect the symptoms of an ischemic attack because you don't know when it's going to convert to a stroke so it's better if you take medical aid as soon as possible so a stroke can cause a temporary or permanent damage of a part you no know, depending upon which part it is affected or how long the blood supply is reduced to the brain and there are a lot of complications involved and such complications are one is loss of memory many people who have had stroke has experienced loss of memory and besides that they have also experienced difficulty in understanding reasoning or judging or even in speaking as well and second is the they lose their uh, emotional control they find it very hard to deal, deal with their emotions and sometimes uh, it may also lead to depression and the third complication is paralysis of course we all know this when a, when a person is affected with stroke the particular part gets paralyzed maybe legs arms you know facial muscles or anything like that and uh, the fourth complication is difficulty in speaking or understanding the language they might feel difficult you know to convey their messages or understanding the other person's speech so these are the various complications that are involved in a stroke now let's talk about the causes of stroke so there are basically two main causes of a stroke one is by blocked artery and such such a stroke is called as ischemic stroke and the second is by leaking or bursting of a blood vessel and that we call as hemorrhagic stroke and some people may have only a temporary disruption of their blood flow to the brain and that's known as transient ischemic attack which doesn't cause any lasting symptoms so let's discuss about ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke in detail 
ischemic stroke this is the most common type of stroke and it happens when uh, our brain's blood vessels become narrowed or blocked and it may you know severely reduce your blood flow so blocked or narrowed blood vessels are caused by fatty deposits that build up in build up in your blood vessels this may be because of your lifestyle or your food habits or by blood clots or any other debris that may travel through your blood stream and just you know fix inside those blood vessels in your brain and some research have also shown that covid-19 infection may be also you know a possible cause of ischemic stroke but uh, more studies still needed so this is all about ischemic stroke now let's see what is the hemorrhagic stroke hemorrhagic stroke is caused due to the rupturing of a blood vessel in the brain right unlike the ischemic stroke which is caused due to just the blocking of an artery so there is a lot of difference between ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke so hemorrhagic uh, stroke is more dangerous right and the factors that uh, you know control the hemorrhagic stroke is somewhat related to the, your blood vessels as well the causes may include high bp or bulges in you know weakened parts of your blood vessel or ischemic stroke itself ischemic stroke in turn leads to hemorrhagic stroke and maybe some trauma such as car accident or maybe protein deposits in your blood vessels or maybe with the uh, over treatment you know with anticoagulants so these are the main causes that contribute to hemorrhagic stroke so now let's talk something about uh, ischemic attack or transient ischemic attack some factors may increase your stroke risk and these factors may be you know your lifestyle or some medical related factors lifestyle factors may include lack of exercise and proper diet being obese or overweight or having illegal drugs such as cocaine etc and maybe physically very inactive like not doing any exercise or workouts these are the lifestyle related factors and medical factors include you know heart cardiovascular diseases such as heart attack heart failure you know atherosclerosis maybe many such things and uh, diabetes high bp and many such uh, medical related factors also increase your uh, stroke risk and uh, in recent times they have also said covid-19 may also increase the risk in you know of stroke in persons who have already suffered from it but still it's not proved properly so yeah these are the factors which increase the stroke risk so knowing your stroke risk factors and following the doctor's recommendations and having a healthy lifestyle would uh, definitely reduce the risk of another stroke and if you're a person who have already had a stroke so these are the measures you can follow in order to you know avoid the risk of another stroke so the the you know the preventive measures in order to prevent a stroke are you know as similar in that of preventing a cardiovascular disease the so basic Uh, healthy lifestyle recommendations include you know, exercising regularly you know exercising regularly will uh, you know improve your bp and maintains your uh, cholesterol in a very good level so having important having good uh, diet which is rich in fruits and vegetables rather than fat rich foods or cholesterol rich foods you you are uh, supposed to have uh, which are uh, vegetables and fruits which are very rich in vitamins and third is you if you are a person who smokes or drinks it's better if you quit that as soon as possible and the fourth is you know maintaining a healthy lifestyle that includes exercise and diet so these are the very simple measures you can adopt in order to prevent stroke so yeah thank you everyone for watching bye please do like share and subscribe the channel